Hi, it's me again. And there's a lot of fallout coming from yesterday's story with the BBC personality who was, I'm not grooming, I don't think I can use that word, but um, doing stuff he shouldn't have been doing with money and a teenager, let's leave it at that. If you didn't see the video, it's on the channel, go and look at it for yesterday. But don't worry, I've got good news for you because it's all under control. The government are stepping in, they're going to have words with the BBC. So, I mean, look, look, if you don't believe me, BBC to hold urgent talks after deeply concerning sex pick claims against the star. Okay. And it goes on to say, the Director General of the BBC, and that's Tim Davey, is set to hold urgent talks with Culture, Media and Sports Secretary Lucy Fraser on Sunday, July the 9th after... Sunday, July the 9th, that's today. But I swear I've seen Lucy Fraser somewhere today. I was sitting in the pub earlier with a mate of mine. Where did I see Lucy? Oh yeah, that's right. This is where I saw Lucy Fraser. That's how seriously the government are taking this matter. They're BFFs of the BBC. That's how seriously they're taking this matter. Let's have a look at her Twitter. I'm not a Twitter user myself heavily, but let's have a look. I've spoken to BBC Director General Tim Davey about the deeply concerning allegations. That was four hours ago, and it's now 6 p.m. So that was at 2 p.m. The race kicked off at 3, I know, because I was in the pub watching it. And uh, she would have had to be there before that if she's given out the trophies, right? And she weren't going in by car. She went in by helicopter. There's no way you'll go. I know enough about F1 to know you are not going into Silverstone by car if you need to be there. So she would have got helicoptered in. How long was this chat? They don't care about you. They All they want to do is defend the BBC. Why they keep defending the BBC? It's beyond me. It's a criminal matter for you to not pay the BBC but to watch or record anything that's being broadcast using BBC iPlayer. It's a criminal... Why? Why, why are you still defending the BBC? Everything they've done, all the scandals over the years, have a look at the wiki, well, take it with a pinch of salt on the Wikipedia page, but there is a Wikipedia page for BBC controversies. And it's quite a long page. Stop defending them. You are the Secretary for Culture, Media, and sadly, Sport, as you've proven today. Do your job. Tell the BBC, look, we can't keep supporting you on this. We ain't your mates. You know, find your own way. You know, the government manage the licence fee. It's done in by Royal Charter, all written off by government. It's a, it's a public service broadcaster, as is ITV, but ITV managed to pay their own way. I am done, done with the government defending the BBC. Why do they keep doing it? It would just get, uh, government like, yeah, just, you better swipe that one under the carpet, do what you've got to do. But you should just, like me, be angry. Be angry of the BBC for this sort of thing happening there. You'd think they'd have to be squeaky clean after the way they've behaved in the past. And I'm sorry, how long was your meeting, Lucy Fraser? Because I'm pretty sure you was more interested in putting your short summer dress on and standing on the podium and giggling as you nearly got sprayed by champagne. Do your job. You know, if this was that important to you, you should have sacked that off. There's no problem. Anyone can give out the bloody trophies. Nobody cares who gives out the trophies. But you wanted your little go in the limelight and a few pictures with the drivers, right? I get that. I wouldn't mind it as well. But when you've got something serious like this going on and you're claiming you're going to talk to the head of the BBC, do your job. Sack that off. Bloody government. I don't get it. I don't get it. And there's a few other there's a few other stories going on about it here. Look, running scared, BBC accused of perv cover-up and they're fearing a Savile-type inquiry. The BBC is rotten to the core. Rotten to the very core. And it needs closing down. Start it again from scratch if you have to, without a licence fee, obviously. But it needs closing down. And then you've got other ones that come out today and yesterday. BBC star parted with TV bosses at awards after teen sex pick allegations were made. The BBC host, who allegedly paid a teen for sexual photos, partied with television bosses at an awards ceremony after the accusations were made. What I would say is don't go chucking names about, because we don't know. There was a story in The Independent, which was the first time I've been on Twitter for ages, and I've got loads of stories about it. It was a story in The Independent running who it was, and they used a picture of Ryland Clark, which, 
Yeah, you can't do that unless you know for sure. And I believe from information I've just been told by a mate of mine that there's a super injunction on it. So even if you knew, you can't say. But it was buying pictures off a female, wasn't it? And I don't know Ryland personally, but I would assume he's not the kind of chap that would want to buy pictures off a female. So don't chuck names about. Ryland says it's not Ryland. Jeremy Vine says it's not Jeremy Vine. We don't know who it was. So there's no point pestering them on Twitter. It will come out. It will come out. I'm sure it will emerge. But we don't know yet. So what do you think about this? Let me know in the comments below. And don't bother naming people. We don't know who it is, all right? Save your guesses for Twitter or something like that. Let's not get into any trouble. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one, whenever that will be. Maybe tomorrow, if I've got something to talk about. You never know. Ta-da.